Hi, I'm Tanner with Trans West Truck Trailer RV here in Frederick, Colorado. Today we're going to bring you a custom order trailer. So we sat down, I would say five, six months ago. We custom built this trailer out with the customer. It's a two plus one kind of shell. So if you guys are familiar with the two plus one, you know, your two stalls in the back, your big box in the front. This is kind of what we went off and then she added a bunch of options to kind of make it more versatile and set it up for how she likes. And I'll walk you through those different options that we put on this trailer. To start things off, it's just 25 foot on the floor, seven, seven tall, six, 10 wide. So it is your warm blood height trailer kind of set up for those bigger warm blood horses. Again, we did do some extra options in here to kind of make it where she can move stuff around for her different applications she's gonna be doing. So we'll start off, we'll walk around this trailer. Um, I'll show you some of the options we did, some of the options you guys can do if you were thinking about building your own custom trailer. So here into the front tack room, we do just have your standard 32 inch door, brush tray down low. We do have your sliding type window in that drop or in that door. I like either doing a sliding type window in the door or a roof vent, just because after you ride on a long day and your pads are sweaty, your blankets are sweaty, you get that option to open those up and air them out while you're traveling home so it doesn't get muggy in your tack room. Pretty much standard on all of our inventory trailers, we are doing fold up steps on any of your tack room doors. Um, we highly recommend it if you're building the trailer too because it takes about an eight inch drop out of having to step up, step up there with your heavy saddle. So we do have the fold up step. It is gas piston operated so that piston holds it up. You don't have to worry about your little rubber grommets going bad anymore. That piston will do all the work for you guys. Inside this tack room, You'll notice we did do gray rubber tread bright. Um, it's gonna be on your floor, your drop wall, and your gooseneck deck. Typically, if you order just kind of a standard Cimarron trailer, you're gonna get a rubber floor with carpet, drop wall, and carpet deck. If you're thinking about building one, I highly recommend maybe considering this tread bright as an option. It's super easy, you can broom it out. Nothing sticks to it like it does the rubber. Your carpet's not gonna get nasty. It is super, super easy to maintain, and it looks really clean as well. And over here on our short wall where our saddle racks and blanket bars are, this is a recess post into the actual frame of this trailer. So you have three blanket poles up high, four saddle racks down low. But the cool thing about this is you can take these out if you only need a couple of them. You can resituate them however you want. If you want to go, you know, saddle rack, blanket bar, saddle rack, blanket bar, you can do that. They're fully modular, fully adjustable, and fully removable if you guys need to. And over here on our partition wall of this trailer, we do have your bridle hooks up high and a full row of bridle hooks down low. Again, we like to fully carpet anywhere we're putting bridle hooks. One, it's gonna keep your bridles and your trailer looking nice. It's, your bridles aren't gonna be moving around scratching your trailer up and vice versa, your trailer's not gonna be scratching your bridle up. Another reason we like to carpet behind your bridle hooks is because it really deadens that noise for your horses. While you're traveling, your bridles can get whipping around, banging on this wall. And whatever horse is on the backside of this wall, that noise is really gonna echo. So we like to carpet down here to really deaden that noise and keep it a little bit quieter for your horses. Up above me as I walk out, this trailer is equipped with Oppie bright lights. So you'll have one above your door in this front tack room, then you'll have a bunch of them in your stall area to kind of be able to see what you're doing. Um, so again, a really nicely set up trailer. And now we're gonna go in to our stall area, which is really um, the great part about this trailer. So you do have your side ramp into your big box stall area. So on your typical two plus one, you're not gonna have this divider right here that you see. You will just have a typical open box. So again, you can haul two in the back, maybe a mare and a foal up front or a bigger horse just kind of loose up here in the front. We went ahead and what we did here in this back stall area is we set it up kind of at like a two plus two. So she has the ability, she can haul two in the back. She can take her divider, load her other horse into this other back stall and then again, shut that horse in and load a fourth horse over here as well. But the cool thing we did with this setup is, she said most of the time she's hauling three horses. She has a bigger horse that she most likely wants to put in this front stall. So the cool thing we did, we went ahead and we put more locations for this back divider. It's about two foot over to the other side of this trailer. You're gonna have a location and a floor and then another location at the back. So if she wants to, she can pull the pins and move this whole divider over about two feet haul her bigger horse in this one stall, and then she will have about an 18 inch stall over there that she's gonna use to stack up hay in. So again, it's gonna be 18 inches. We went off kind of what your standard small bale is. She can move that divider over, start stacking hay up. That way she can haul three horses, all her hay, not have to worry about throwing hay in the tack room or the bed of her truck. So it's a really versatile setup she did. And again, took a two plus one and kind of made it a two plus two or even a two plus one with a little hay area. So she has a lot of options with what she can do in this trailer. We do have your padded dividers. We went with a bar type airflow for her dividers. So these and both your back divider will be airflow as well. 
I was walking through here, not so much an option thing, but kind of a Cimarron standard thing. Cimarron is a manufacturer that no matter what trailer you order, with the exception of their stock trailer models, you are gonna get a fully insulated stall area. So your walls are insulated, your ceiling comes standard insulated, even on your stock trailer models. So you're getting a fully insulated trailer, which is gonna keep your horses about 20% cooler in the summer and about 20% warmer in the winter. So again, really great that Cimarron does that for you guys. Well, I'll walk through some of the options we did for this customer specifically. We do have your traveling head gate. So again, this gate can swing to either side. It can latch there, it can swing over and latch here. So again, if she's hauling hay, she can move that over and latch it to that point. It kind of contains all that hay where she needs it. And same thing, if she wants a little more headroom for a horse, she can move that out of the way of her horses as well. Cool thing about doing this is, I talked that we can move that over to the wall, but then again, if she does go get to a point where she is hauling a marin full or something, these are fully removable as well. So if she wants to go back to a standard two plus one, she can easily pull some pins, pull this post out, pull that divider out, and she's back to a standard two plus one with the box stall up front set up. Some options, again, we did on this trailer. We are equipped with stall fans for each one of her four pins. So you'll have stall fans up high, and then again, those OptiBright lights situated kind of to each side of her stall as you see around this trailer. Here is a good look again at that head rack, kind of a little better angle. So again, it will latch into the ceiling. You can give this horse a little more headroom if you need, or again, just get it out of the way while you're loading and offloading horses. Walking through the trailer, again, kind of a standard setup. You are gonna have roof fence in this trailer. You're gonna have one for each of your front two stalls. And then again, these two we're looking at back here for your back two stalls. Another cool thing we did, this is kind of an upgrade that we really recommend if you are doing a two plus one and you are planning on maybe hauling ATVs, UTVs, or just wanna have an open trailer at some point. This divider has the option to be fully removable. Or again, we make it a lot easier for you guys. So if you order a standard two plus one setup, this divider right here is not gonna be on a track like you see above. You will have to remove it, set it over here against the wall and then latch it in place. But it's a nice little upgrade to go ahead and put this traveling track up high because you just literally pull four pins. Latch your head gate into place. And then you can easily take this whole divider. If you do want an open style trailer, slide it on that track and then it will pin against this wall Again, you can take all your removable posts out so you can end up with a wide open trailer as well without any of this hardware in the middle. So again, we can do a lot of cool stuff with the two plus one. You can do a two plus one, a two plus two. You can have an open trailer. You can have a two plus one with a big box. You can do a lot of stuff in these trailers which make them really versatile and really cool for us to set up. One of the big options we did is we went ahead and we wormed the floor in this trailer. So it is that worm flooring. She's not gonna have to worry about pulling mats over in this trailer. She can easily hose this out to get it clean. One thing is with these two plus one setups, or if you have a trailer that you're building a lot of complicated dividers with these floor locations in, if you run just regular mats in here, that is 100% fine if that's what you wanna do. It just makes it super hard if you pull those mats and go to clean your floor. Getting them put back in can be a bit of a challenge because you have to find the fit to where they fit to all these floor locations in the floor. So it could be a little bit challenging. She won't have to worry about that with this worm flooring. Her horses are getting a lot cushion or ride in a typical rubber mat, and again, She's never going to have to worry about the floor in this trailer going bad. It's a really, really nice option if you guys are looking at building your own trailer. Each one of your stalls, kind of hard to show, is that divider slid over. You will have a butt bar and a chest bar for each one of your four stalls. Cool thing Cimarron did on that back one where we can move it over, they included an extra long chest bar and butt bar in that front tack. So again, if you do move this divider over to that wall, this short chest bar is no longer gonna reach. So they gave her a longer one that if she is running it in that open position, she can just swap these bars out. Again, keep her horses contained and traveling safe. We're gonna make our way out the rear of this trailer. Again, it is a rear ramps trailer, a side ramp trailer. So it makes it really easy. If you're loading your horses, you can load them, get to where you're going. You can walk them off that head side ramp. You don't have to worry about backing your horses out if that's something you guys worry about. Here on the back, again, ramp down low. You're gonna have your double dutch doors up high. They're gonna close over that ramp. Cool thing about these double dutch doors is not only these rear doors, but that side double dutch over that side ramp. 
you can run it with these doors open. So again, super hot summer, stuck on the highway. You can open this trailer all the way up and really get some airflow going for your horses. We're gonna come down your driver's side of this trailer. It's pretty much gonna mirror that passenger, or that passenger side. Um, so we do have a big drop for each one of your two stalls. You'll have the same drop on that other side as well. So again, an oversized drop, giving your horse some airflow. Really easy to be able to drop that, check on your horses, feed your horses, do whatever you need to do from the outside of the trailer. That way you guys aren't stopping at fuel stations, anything like that, trying to find water, having to offload horses to feed and water them. You can easily get access through these drop windows. The biggest option we went ahead and put on this trailer is it is an air ride trailer. So these are two 7,000 pound Dexter rubber torsion or Dexter air flex axles. So it is an air ride trailer. It's riding on air suspension. It's really, really gonna make that a safe ride for your horse. You're not gonna feel as much jerk in your truck that it, those airbags are gonna take all your road hazard stuff out of the way. This trailer is pretty much gonna float like it's on air. Um, it is on air. The cool thing about it though is our older air ride systems, if your air ride system ever went bad or anything like that, you really couldn't travel because you didn't have a rubber torsion underneath that. The cool thing we do with these Dexters is it is built on a rubber torsion frame. So if your airbags ever go bad, you get a leak, something like that, you can't get this trailer to air up and the air ride is not functioning. It is, does just have normal rubber torsion on it as well. So you don't have to worry about finding a station immediately. You can always travel with that rubber torsion without your air inflated. These are green tab tires. So again, they are coming from the factory. Anything we order, they are coming nitrogen filled from the factory. So again, what that does is it really helps balance out your PSI in these tires. If you have a really cold morning, a really warm afternoon, you're not gonna have to worry about that PSI rising or dropping again if it gets really cold. You're not gonna have to worry about having drop air out of these trailers or put air in when that temperature starts to fluctuate on you. It's really gonna help balance that out. It's gonna add to the life of your tires and really prevent blowouts and keep you guys safer while you're traveling as well. On the off side of that side ramp we have on the other side, we do have your escape door on this side. We did option for a fold up step right here because again, this is where she's gonna be using to store kind of some tack, maybe some hay. She wanted an easy access so she can swing this door open, drop the step, easily load hay into this position right here on the short side of this two plus one. Again, making it really user friendly for her as well. We do have a little smaller drop. So again, if she is running this as a two plus two and not hauling hay, she can always drop this outside window Again, getting more airflow for those horses in there, having an easy access to be able to feed and water those horses as well. You can easily drop these gel bars, any gel bars on this trailer, have easy access to feed and water your, your horses. So it's a really cool setup we did. We kind of tried to think of everything when we built this to make it fit any application she needs, whether she's on two horses, three horses, four horses, maybe some hay. If she wants to move everything out of the way and haul an ATV or a UTV, she can. She can do whatever she wants in this trailer. So we'll finish off up here under the nose. Under the nose, we do have your single leg electric hydraulic jack. So again, push button operation up, down. Cool thing about it is if your batteries ever die, you can't get this to work for some reason. It does have a safety feature on it where it'll only let you go up and not down if your batteries are dying. And then again, you will get a manual type lever. So if this ever dies, you do have the option to man manually run this hydraulic jack if your batteries die. And speaking of batteries dying, to kind of help prevent that, we do include a battery shutoff switch. So if you're parking this trailer, you're not going to use it. You can turn this battery cutoff switch to off. That way, if you left the light on somewhere, left your stall fans on, something like that, you turn this to off and it's going to kill all the power to the trailer. So you're not going to have to worry about your batteries dying on you. And then located to the right of that battery box is your air ride system. So this is your compressor. It's really simple. You have a raise in a lower position and an on and off for your compressor. So if you're traveling, you're gonna have that on and to raise. If you're parked somewhere, you're gonna have that off and to lower. And again, that's really gonna help keep that PSI in those airbags regulated. So it keeps it about 140 PSI while you're traveling. As you hit bumps, it's gonna let air out of those airbags and that compressor is gonna refill those airbags. So it really is gonna help cushion your horses while you're traveling the whole way. And it's really, really kind of hands-off operation. You turn it on and you start going and it does it all for you. Up high, we have your spare tire mounted up high. They used to be mounted down low. We kind of position them to that up high position just because a lot of your road debris is gonna kick up down low and we don't want it dinging up this aluminum wheel. So this is a matching aluminum wheel and tire to the rest of the wheels and tires on this trailer. So if you do get a blowout, get a flat and you have to swap wheels on the side of the highway, you will have a matching wheel and tire to the rest of the tires on this trailer. Then finally, up here at the nose of this trailer, you do have your safety chains, your breakaway cable, 
And I want to show you guys this new coupler by BMW. So this is their new style. It's going to be standard on kind of all our late 23s, 24 model trailers. We went ahead and we did this handle. The reason we did it because your typical handle will come up to about there and you lose that bottom hole on your coupler. So we went to this new style. Cimarron designed this with BMW to allow. We've been getting a lot more frequently some people that are hauling with like summit haulers, freight liners, stuff like that. So by allowing us to hit another hole down low, that allows us to make this trailer ride level on a summit hauler type truck. Um, so again, just another feature. Cimarron's always trying to innovate and improve and make things a little more user friendly for you guys. And that's just one of the things they came up with this past year. So again, if you're interested in some of the options on this trailer, maybe you want to build something really similar or, want, or this gave you some ideas for a trailer you've kind of been thinking about building for a while. If you want to reference this trailer, the stock number is 5N230126. Again, it's a 23 Cimarron North Star. It's their Warm Blood 2 plus 1 setup that we went ahead and turned it into a 2 plus 2, a 2 plus 1 with some hay storage. We did a lot of stuff on this trailer. So if you're interested in this trailer or maybe you want to build a different trailer similar, go ahead and give me a call. Again, my name's Tanner here at TransWest Truck Trailer RV in Frederick, Colorado. Phone number is 303-684-3409. Thanks for tuning in.